Welcome to the weekly program, Bilahdan, a show with an accent for those without one. You know, Muslims have been portrayed in the mainstream media in so many different ways, in movies and films and Hollywood and cartoons, and the young kids been exposed and so distorted image of Muslims. Have artists getting together and representing and telling uh, their relationship with uh, Muslims through arts. And we have here on my left, Christine Gina. Gina. Next to her, Jerry Nadermeyer and mm -hmm. uh, Amina Muhammad. Those are the, in uh, uh, an artistic project called the Emerit Mosaics. And uh, this is uh, sponsored by Artworks, which is really an art organization in Egan and welcome Bilahdan, all of you. Let's start with you, Jerry. You organizing all of this and I don't know what's wrong with you, but <laughs> tell me tell me how this idea come about. Uh, we started thinking uh, a lot about how our community of people uh, does not match the community outside of the building. Um, we have a very diverse community in Egan, and the people who are showing up for our shows in our first year, we're not matching that demographic at all. Um, so we started thinking, what if we put out really uh, tailored invitations and say, this show is for you so that you can meet this place and you can meet these people. Uh, and we start building connections um, that we didn't have before. Um, artists come because they've been specifically invited. And <laughs> hopefully uh, they find something that meets their needs there and they stay for a completely different reason. It's interesting you know, because I, when I first came here, the only venue was open for us was the Unitarian, it was Catholic Church, and, and the basement somewhere where we talk and stuff, or whatever. But uh, now there's a lot of venues for the immigrants and, and the Muslims and you know other uh, refugees and all the people to to express and define themselves. Mm -hmm. But here you are, here, Christine. You know, uh, you are an artist. Yes. And, uh, and you, you tell us a little bit about your art first before uh, you get involved in representing uh, Muslims. So this is my this art, is and uh, which is rather typical of, stereotypical of Muslim art, where you've got the geometric patterns that expand outward. Uh, I work in stained glass. I do not do traditional stained glass, so it doesn't use lead, but it's more types of mosaics, but in stained glass. And so, I mean, when you do a, a piece of art like that, do you visualize it or it just takes life of its own? I start by hand cutting the stained glass, so I cut all the diamonds. And then, honestly, I don't work from a pattern. I, I feel like that's like paint by numbers. Yeah. It's not creative Coffee. for me. <laughs> so I just start laying and start laying as it goes. Um, I do geometric patterns, but I also do a lot of landscapes, and it's the same thing. I just start cutting and I lay. I cut and I lay. This, this is a beautiful, I mean, if you look at it in general, it is something. It is an image, a whole. But yeah. you, when you get into the detail, there's other, there's all other stories here in every section of it. Yeah. So as you get in closer, this, this is different. It's a different yeah, form Yeah, and it's of more arts. than just stained glass. I do yeah. use glass beads. I'll use cabochons. I'll use gemstones sometimes. So I try to incorporate different I have things. I no idea what you're talking about, but, <laughs> but it sounds like a, a very technical. But uh, it is a beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I know you said the, uh, you know, Islamic art. You know, you're starting to see this more in mosques throughout the Middle East. You yeah. are starting to see a lot more stained glass uh, in so their windows. Very good. So, uh, Tamina, tell us a little bit, uh, how did you get involved with this, <laughs> this project? Yes, well, I, um, I saw the call of artists, the, you know, calling artists. And because I'm not so familiar uh, to Minnesota, I'm new to Minnesota. Oh, I see. Um, I thought it was a, a great opportunity for me just to get involved in the community and so that people uh, can be introduced with the stuff that I, you know. And what present. kind of art do you do? I do illustration art, but it kind of goes into mixed media as well because I like to play around with color and uh, play around with different shapes. And uh, <coughs> I don't want to make a, a gross uh, <laughs> assumption. You are a Muslim by yes. the way you look. Yes, I'm And uh, tell us a little bit about being a Muslim and how would that you know affects you as an artist and how you express you express it as an artist as a Muslim. As yeah, a, I uh, feel like you know being Muslim, it is. It is difficult, but I try to uh, get involved in the community as much as I can. Um, I try to uh, 
be um, like an art instructor in the summer for Ooh. the kids in the inner city. So they get to see me and I'm very visible. Uh, <laughs> I travel, I, I, I um, instruct seniors. So I'm very involved with all types of you know, people in the community, so they get to see me and I'm involved. And um, I, I feel like it's good to break stereotypes, you know, and then uh, with my personality and for what I love, they see my passion. They see that I'm compassionate about what I do and actually you see the passion in my art. Um, and with the colors, the colors that I use, it also is a great thing because um, in this time it's like so hard. So I like to bring a lot of color and I feel like color makes everyone's so much more happy. <laughs> it's universal. Yeah, <laughs> just bold and colorful. Uh, mm -hmm. Jerry, when uh, when you first started things uh, and you thought say, we're going to bring some artists and they're going to express the relationship with Muslim or Islam, uh, do you tell them anything? What, what's what's the manual here? So our, our, call, for, our call for art was uh, pretty intentional. We worked with a, a Muslim curator um, who, who is uh, very active in the local community and her kids go to the same schools my kids have gone to, et cetera. And um, we sat down together and we said, okay, how, how, do we, how do we make this invitation really direct, really personal, um, and then not close doors and make assumptions about um, how a group of people should express themselves and, and their cultural connection to the Muslim community. Uh, so we basically just wrote it out and we said, listen, we're, we're talking about the art created by people with a connection to the Muslim community and I'm not going to define that for you. You need to define that for, for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, your art can be political, but it doesn't have to be. There is an assumption that um, all things Muslim must be political <laughs> and they do not. Um, uh, they be can halal. be, uh, yeah, <laughs> they cannot be, they do not need to be faith-based, but they can be. Uh, they do not need to be about your um, direct connection to the Muslim community, but they can be. Sometimes your um, expression is not really based on that piece, you know, and m your Muslim uh, connection is not the only thing that defines you. And um, I think that the greater community breaks down uh, stereotypes when they see that. So, uh, I mean, those pieces or arts, artworks that I brought something they already done or something they done based on this uh, instruction or based on this vision? I think most of the people submitted art that was part of their regular repertoire. I, I think see. people people submitted pieces that they felt were reflective of their general body of work. Um, I think there are a few that um, chose specific pieces to submit, but I think mostly, I think what I when I looked online and looked at your work, um, the illustrative nature and the color nature is really really evident across your whole body of work, no matter what the medium is. Yes. And and <laughs> when I looked across your body of work, um, the the glass and the reflection um, and and some of the other things with the multimedia w was standard across your entire your entire body of work. And what I saw of other artists um, was similar. It was very consistent across their own body of work, and they just they just brought it to the table and, and we display it. Uh, this event is starting opening tomorrow? Yeah, it's, a, it's a an opening tomorrow night um, and it's just going to be a big party. Yes. Uh, it's uh, from 5.30 to 7 um, at Artworks in Egan and um, all of the artists, every single artist who submitted work um, for the show will be in attendance and uh, we have more than 20 artists participating and 80, um, I think 84 pieces of art uh, building wide is a huge show. Um, and there's a lot of different media. We have the ability to display things in a really unique way. We're able to hang glass in front of light. Um, we're able to display installation pieces. We're able to hang pieces from the ceiling. We're able to um, interact with things that are both 2D and 3D. And it really makes for a dynamic show. Um, artists are bringing some potluck snacks. Um, so it's an opportunity to, to, to just yeah, yes. Minnesota Pollock is yes. a good thing. Take some risk. <laughs> right. Man, go out there and watch this uh, show right. in Egan. Uh, uh, this is gonna. This show is gonna. Uh, uh, for how long? Until March? Yeah, it's it's up for two months. Um, we find that um, sometimes people people like to come to an opening, and a lot of people like to interact with art in a really um, personal way, and they will, they like to come when it's quiet and when they have time and when there's no other distractions. Uh, so we leave up an art exhibit usually for a, a two month period of time. And we open. Uh, it's open to the public Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and the second Saturday of every month from ten to four. 
And then we also have a number of corporate events, reservations, and things like that that happen within the building uh, at other times. So what's Artworks? I mean, this is a, this just started mm -hmm. when? Uh, we founded as an organization in 2016, uh, and we purchased a facility in Egan in 2017. So it's a very fast-moving organization. Uh, and our mission is to, to support the local arts community by connecting working artists and arts organizations um, and, and the community in, in just really creative gathering spaces. We have studio space for working artists, um, both on a private uh, and a communal basis. We have a ceramic studio. Uh, we have a maker space in our basement. Uh, we have a fine art gallery, a, a, a space in Egan dedicated to displaying art of all types. Uh, and then we have a small performance venue on our second floor. Wow. Christine, I mean, uh, how much of this art is, uh, is like uh, expression of your, uh, your life, your experience yeah. as a person? So um, I get migraines almost all the time. I, I used to work professionally and I lost my career based on that. Um, so I spend a lot of time in the dark, a lot of time in the dark, where it's quiet. And so I, when I lost my career, I needed something to do and I started creating art. My grandma was an artist. So I just found that when I started working with stained glass, that worked for me. It's something bright. It has something to do with light. And a lot of what I do is uh, nature-based, which means I don't get outside very often. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm focused on. If I could think of anything, it's light, it's nature, it's being outdoors. So that's typically why I work in stained glass. Well, you are in the right place in Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> There's no need to get out. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much for this tremendous product, Jerry. It's a great work. How long have you been working on this? Uh, this show, um, I think we put the call together in November and um, opened it up in December. And um, I think true to form, almost all of the applicants came in in the last um, 48 hours before the deadline. Um, and uh, we're really excited. We're really, really excited to have 20 artists who are new to us uh, and to, to build a community uh, around creative people of all kinds. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, this is a Merit Music. This is an art, <laughs> great art uh, show here in our neighborhood in Egan. Or um, 20 more, 20 artists, more than 60. 80. 80, more than 80. 80 arts, and it's going to stay for two months. But it's opening tomorrow, Sunday. Go there and check it out. Get, a, get a, you know, involved. Get in touch with the other artists yep. and see. Have you have you, ha you know, hugged a Muslim lately? <laughs> That's your chance. Go see a Muslim. Uh, define uh, you know uh, by arts with artists here in Minnesota. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Assalamu alaikum and God bless you all.